Today we're going to make a cauliflower cheese and a good one. Um, so I'll show you what we're going to use. We're going to get a cauliflower, a good size one. Now when you buy cauliflower, if it's covered in leaves, always peel it back and make sure there is some cauliflower there, because sometimes there isn't. There might be a little ball. You don't want a little ball, you want a good, good amount, because um, it's going to go in the bottom of this ball. I'm going to use some black pepper. We're going to use half a teaspoon of Coleman's mustard. Um, we're going to use... Uh, some sunflower spread or butter, whichever you want to use, just about a knob of butter on that. We're going to use some plain flour, which is going to be a dessert spoon heat. Uh, we're going to use six ounces of Asda Mature Rich and Full Body, this one, because it's the only one that isn't oily, and when you're making a sauce, it blends together really well. Some, sometimes you make a sauce and you can't understand why it's not going together and it's just separating all the time, and that's because there's too much oil in the cheese. But this is a good one, it's not too oily. And we're going to use, it's good flavour as well, we're going to use three quarters of a pint of semi-skim milk. Um, so we'll get going with that, when we get in the pan we'll come back to you, okay? Right, we're back. We've prepared a cauliflower, I'm going to steam it. And we're going to steam it till it's just not soft, but, so it's just, the fork goes in it, but it's not totally soft. Um, and that's the best way to do it. That might be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how hot your water is at the beginning to start with underneath. Um, so we're leaving that steaming. While we're doing that, we're going to make the sauce. Um, so what we're going to do is get a good knob of butter. Put it in there. And then we're going to get a dessert spoon of plain flour. So we're warming a, a pan and a butter. When the butter goes down, we're going to mix the flour in. Give it a sec. Just pause that a minute while the butter goes down. Right, we've got the butter and it's melted, um, so we're going to put a good dessert spoon of plain flour in. Like that. Right. I'm stir that round until it goes into our paste. It's just blended up a bit like that. Now to that, we're going to add your milk, which is a three quarters of a pint, that goes in. cheese, which is your six ounces of this cheddar, break it up, we don't need to bother about it breaking up too fine because it's all going to melt down, so we're going to do that, and we're going to get this mustard, just, we're only going to use about half a teaspoon of mustard like that, uh, you can use more if you want but it's quite a strong sauce and this is quite a subtle one so you're better off with half, put that in. I'm going to put a pepper in as well. Let's get rid of that. So, a good portion of black pepper because we like the black pepper. And these are better because you get more, when you grind it, you get better coming out like that. So, and then what we're going to do is just stir this down, warm it up a little bit more, just like a medium ace if you want, and let it melt down. And when it goes down and the cheese is started melting. I'm going to whip it up with a fork. Um, so you're talking about maybe 10 minutes to get it down how you want it. You can leave it bubbling while that's steaming as well and then they're both cooking together. Um, I'll get back to you when this cheese sauce has just melted in. Okay. Right, we've sorted a sauce and we're going to whip it up with a fork to get rid of any lumps and that's how it is like that. And the cauliflower has been steamed and that is just so your fork goes in but not too soft. And what we're going to do is just transfer it to the dish and we're going to put the sauce out. I'm just going to get the oven gloves a minute. Um, that'll be so. right. Now then, we don't want a third degree burn, do we? We'll get this. These are not the sort of gloves that I use. I usually like the hand ones. I'm going to put this in here. So as long as you've got enough to do the bottom of the dish. And then just flatten it down a little bit. Like that. Get your sauce, make sure there's no lumps in it. So just run through so it's going through, that's it. And then just pour your sauce over the top. And you can taste this sauce if you want before you before you put it in because it's really really good. Not too mustardy. And we've got plenty of pepper in so I don't need to put any more in. And we're just going to set our oven to 180. I'm going to leave it about maybe 25 minutes. 
middle shelf again. This is a fan assisted oven, so they do cook quicker, the fan assisted. And we'll get that out when it's going slightly gold and we don't want to overdo it. And we'll get back to you then, okay? Yep, right, um, we've got it cooked now, it's been on about 20 minutes, and we're just going to take it out now, and it's just going sort of golden on the top, that's the best way to do it, now that is a collard cheese, now we usually serve this, we can have it with mashed potatoes and veg, but I like it with one of these, jacked potato, and I'll just show you an implement, see if you can guess what it is, what is this? This goes in the microwave. This cooks a jacket potato in the microwave really well. So it lifts it up so it it cooks the whole way around. Um, depending on the size of the potato, and that's probably about six minutes that. If you do that microwave eye about six minutes, um, and then check it with a fork, see if your fork goes in it. If it doesn't, give it another 30 seconds or so until it's ready. Um, and they're fabulous products these, it's best than waiting an hour in the oven. They're not as crispy as they're done in the oven, but they're quite good. Okay, so I'll see you again.